What's up? Let's make a soul beat. Hey guys, it's me Sarah. Thanks for watching today. Today we're gonna go ahead and make a soul beat. I um, actually wanted to share with you how I made last week's post, um, Needed You. I'm actually sampled record, The Electric Flag, an American band. And I bought this record back in California a few months ago. And I recorded the song on my computer a long time ago. And the project that it was saved under was called Le At Least Four, um, which means there was at least four um, samples on that, uh, that project. So I went back and listened to some of the samples. So I came across a track that I think is called Nothing To Do. We're gonna listen to it. Um, I wanted to just share with you how I actually sampled the track and I also sampled uh, Red Fox, Black and Blue. I actually got this record uh, back in Brooklyn two weeks ago. I sampled his vocals, so I'll tell you guys how I like made this beat in like five minutes. And then, um, as you guys see, I made a, a video with it, so that was something I made the same day. So I just wanted to share with you how I made it. It's a soul beat, so let's do this. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you guys, where are you from? I'm from Raleigh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh is actually known for Oak City because we have a lot of oak trees and a lot of nuts and acorns. And we actually drop a giant acorn for our New Year's, so we drop a giant nut. Yes. Anyways, fun fact. Where are you from? Tell me a fun fact about where you're from. And also, um, the reason why I'm actually also making this video is because I actually haven't posted a, a beat making video in a long time someone actually commented on one of my videos recently and said can you show me how to make a beat or something like that or show me how you make the beat or how you make a beat or your beat shout outs to you so I'm gonna show you guys more about how I make my beats this is really like a really quick microwave beat I like to call it let's just get into it Alright, so I've recorded the sample into my machine. Um, I forgot, for you guys that don't know, I use Native Instruments Machine. For the most part, I had this record player. This goes into here, this red box, and this goes into the computer. That's how I'm able to get it the audio file into the computer can come to my machine which is awesome because it's a piece of hardware I don't have to be on my computer so I can just uh, press this button so obviously well I didn't even use that part of the sample but I chopped chopped the whole song up so let's do that we're gonna go to actually go to slice it and um slice the sample so on machine there's an option called manual so it pulls up the audio sample which is this whole entire clip and when I press this button it allows me to chop that clip up so when I stop pressing or go to the next button it actually cuts off the last sample and it can starts a new sample and then so on and so on and so on I'd rather show you than tell you so let's do it Okay, so I, I just chopped up the sample, it sounds like this. If I wanted to continue to chop it up, I just hit the, the very last button, so. Tell you that he needs you. 
all right so I've chopped up the the sample I can kind of show you guys right here how it even shows you in a preview of boom of each slice after I sample or chop up the sample um, I'm gonna apply it to a pad so I've already done that so I'm gonna go to that pad so here it is I pitched up the sample tone by just holding one of the pads and and holding this or turning this knob up so what my process is I actually will record a bunch of different chops like I'll just mess around and you know just I'll record it and then I'll do something new. I'll go to the next thing. And you know, just kind of mess around with it and then later I'll come back to each one of those patterns that I made and kind of just choose which one was the best. So when I was messing around, I came up with... going to go ahead and create the tempo of the beat. Hold the shift key. It's around a 94, 95, 96. So let's go ahead and record one of the samples that we've chosen. So I'm going to hit the shift and record and it's going to count us in. So the next thing I did was I continued to record different sample chops and let's see what the next one is. Chopped up some um, some more of the. That was pretty much uh, the sampling part of the Electric Flag album. We're gonna go ahead and get into the drums. I have two kick drums. One is pan to the left, one's pan to the right. I have my my little marching band. Yeah. Got my standard hi-hat. As far as the beat, it's going to start off like... The kick in three times and just the snare just to start off for the next verse. So. Some basic stuff and then That's pretty much it for the first drum pattern. I think I have a second drum pattern. This is kind of where the hi-hats get a little bit more active and it gives the track a little bit more of a groove. Oh,
once we get to this part of the song I actually took uh, the drums out of the of the song and wanted to put a vocal track so I, I decided to use my lovely SP404 SX hello 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 turn it on shout outs to Biggie, Cam, Doom, Bart, what's up Supreme I actually took this record here and uh, sampled uh, some vocal tracks from his stand up comedy let's listen into what I actually sampled Go fuck yourself Ooh. Go fuck yourself you never know how you're gonna get George. Never. never, never. <laughs> so this, this is your captain. Captain. Hello, Dan. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Red Fox. Can you imagine a television commercial 50 years from today with the Negro announcer? No, 25 years. We're gonna cut it short. I'm gonna tell you, teacher, I'm in love. She said, in love, in love with who? He said, I'm in love with you. I went back to the original drum pattern. thing that I added to the track at the very end I added kind of like a signature J Dilla sirens the micro chord XL there's a siren feature so what I did I actually recorded that right directly into my SP 404 it's number six so I can kind of adjust it That's pretty much it you guys so that was pretty much it you guys the beat consists of two records electric flag the red fox black and blue it also consisted of two drum patterns and a siren that's pretty much it that's what I call kind of like a J Dilla microwave beat and then afterwards I flew my drone out here she is her name's Sparkle flew her out five minutes away to this park called Chavis Park where you get to see the skyline from Raleigh so that's where I got to spend about 15 minutes shooting this and then I came back home I uploaded the footage to Final Cut Pro and I just used some of their effects that they have doc and then I just posted the song posted the video and now I'm here talking about how I made it and um, that's pretty much it keep it simple don't stress out about how to make you know things too complicated I don't like to spend too much time on beat hopefully I have a time where I can spend more time on and concentrate more on certain things I tend to just keep things really simple that's just how I do my thing I don't know how you guys do yours that's pretty much how I made that beat each beat is different I kind of approach everything different every single time I just wanted to share with you how I made this one hope you guys have a great week like I said let me know what you guys want to see in the future comment below like subscribe I love you guys thank you so much for the support I love you guys peace to 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 you that to 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 need you